so this is a new practice point through the Canadian Pediatric Society that's looking at preventing allergy in high-risk infants. So that would be infants who either have a family history of allergies or who have other allergies themselves. And it's now recommending, instead of the old guidelines which said introduce allergic foods at around six months of age, that allergic foods could be introduced any time between four to six month of, months of age in these infants. So there's several common allergic foods. The big ones are milk and egg, nuts, fish and grains. But the foods that we really have the best evidence that eating early prevents allergy are peanut and egg and to some degree milk and wheat as well. So there was actually a really exciting study that looked at this. It was a landmark study in our specialty. And this study looked at feeding babies peanut between four to 11 months of age or avoiding peanut until they were five years of age. And it actually found that eating peanut early prevented peanut allergy up to 80% of the time. So, you know, the older guidelines used to say avoid foods until kids were much older. And that was because at the time we thought that you became allergic through your stomach, through your gut. And we thought that if you avoid foods, as you get bigger, your gut has time to mature. And when you eat the foods, there's less of a chance of reacting. But we're now learning that you actually become allergic through your skin. So the theory is if you eat these foods early and it goes through your gut, it actually teaches your body not to react to the foods when you see them in the environment through your skin. Several years ago, there were guidelines, including the American Academy of Pediatrics guideline, that actually said, stay away from these foods. So stay away from eggs and nuts until the baby is a lot older. But that was really based on this theory that you become allergic through your gut. And now we've learned that you become allergic through your skin. And as of 2013, there were a few studies, but there weren't a lot of really good studies yet that said, you know, there's a chance that eating these foods early may actually prevent allergy, which is why in 2013, the Canadian Pediatric Society came out with a position statement that said, there's no need to delay beyond six months of age in high-risk infants. We now have even more studies that are even better study designed. They're called randomized controlled trials that show that eating early is preventative, which is why we're now saying you could consider actively introducing before between four to six months of age.